On this problem, we're gonna be determining critical numbers or critical values for this function. So we have a function that involves a square root. So f of x equals two times the square root of x minus two x squared. So to get going on this, critical values or critical numbers are gonna occur whenever the derivative of a function is either equal to zero or undefined. So let's try to take the derivative of our function. Before we do so, it's gonna be handy if we rewrite that square root has been raised to the one half as an exponent. Now we haven't taken the derivative yet, so this is just rewriting the original function. Now let's go ahead and apply our power rule for taking derivatives. So we can bring the two along, the constant can come along, and taking the derivative of x to the one half power, we bring the exponent down in front and we reduce the exponent by one. So one half minus one is gonna make negative one half minus, we can bring the two along, the constant can come along, and the derivative of x squared is gonna be bring the exponent down, reduce the exponent by one. So our new exponent is gonna be a one. Um, two times one half can simplify to make a one, and we still have x to the negative one half power. I'm gonna rewrite this without the negative exponent. So it's one over x to the positive one half power minus four x. Okay, from here, what we wanna do is, I would probably go ahead and rewrite the uh, one half as an exponent. I'm gonna replace that with the square root of x. because so I just um, see that a little bit easier that way. Um, looking at this, this is gonna be undefined. If you were to plug in a zero for our x, um, based on that denominator, having an x in it. So what's gonna happen there is, you know, if you plug in a zero, the square root of zero makes a zero. Therefore you'd be dividing by zero and that's not allowed. So x equals zero is gonna be one of our values um, where we get a critical number. The other one can be found by setting this equal to zero and solving down. I'm gonna go back to this version up here and set this equal to zero. And let's try to solve that down. So the first thing I may do is add the 4x to the other side. So 0 plus 4x makes 4x. And I still have 1 over x to the 1 half power. Now we're not allowed to solve for a variable while it's stuck in the denominator. So the next thing I'm going to do is multiply both sides by x to the 1 half power to get that out of the denominator. Multiplying by x to the 1 half and dividing by x to the 1 half will cancel. So we have one over on the right-hand side. And to simplify this down or combine it together on the left-hand side, we can add our exponents where we have one half plus another one is gonna make x to the three halves power and bring the four along. All right, from here, we can make this into a power equation if we divide both sides by four. That'll leave us with x to the three halves equals one fourth. And from here, you can either raise both sides to the one half power, sorry, the two thirds power, if you're comfortable using um, fractional exponents. Um, and what that's gonna do on the left-hand side is we have three halves for our exponent. When that gets multiplied by two thirds, that's gonna make a one for our new exponent. And then if we're allowed to use our calculators, we can put this in the calculator. Um, a, or the other option is this is exactly the cube root of one fourth raised to the second power. This works out to be approximately 0 0.629.9605 and it keeps going forever. All right, so we did have two values um, that were critical numbers, I should say, or critical values. They were either when the denominator would equal zero where the first derivative would be undefined or when the first derivative equals zero and we do some solving down. All right, I hope this helps. Good luck to you with finding critical values or critical numbers.